If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. You got to see this. This is hilarious, actually. Also a bit frightening, but Bill Gates, Dr. Bill Gates, I guess as we should call him now, since he's apparently the face of the movement along with Dr. Fauci. Bill Gates has gone from making computers to becoming the guy who is going to give us the RNA, DNA vaccination that's going to save All of us from this outbreak, and then I'm going to show you hypocrisy with what they're doing and how badly they want to get you stuck with a needle, so badly, so desperately, that they're even telling people that they should get their flu shots, even though it won't help prevent the C-19, but if you get your flu shot, it will certainly help, huh? So here's Gates talking about how... This whole thing works, and you can see how they want to put, apparently you want to put the the C-19, the virus, in you, a part of it in you, because it'll help, you know, fight it off, in a sense. And you can even see the low-budget production we have here, where it looks like golf tees are being used. But listen to him, and then talking about the RNA and the DNA. The most urgent invention in the world right now is a vaccine that prevents you from getting COVID-19. What vaccines do is they teach your immune system about the pathogen. This is the coronavirus, and this shape on its outside is called the spike protein. It grabs on to the cells in your body that have a particular receptor and get that cell to make billions of copies of this virus. The first time that you're exposed to this virus, it takes literally days for your immune system to realize that it's a bad thing. So how do we get the immune system to go faster? Well, the idea of a vaccine is to give you an exposure to something that looks like this. So you're getting your body to make a lot of antibodies that can take these viruses and actually kill them. There's over a hundred different efforts making many different types of coronavirus vaccines. So how do you make a vaccine? usually you're injecting at least part of the shape of the virus. Sometimes you do the whole virus, but it's attenuated so it doesn't multiply too much. Sometimes you take the virus and you kill it. You won't get sick because they're not duplicating. What's typically done is you just take either a piece of the virus or just the spike, that thing on the surface, and you put it on something else. So there's no risk at all of causing the disease. One final way that's new and is promising is called the RNA vaccine. With RNA and DNA, instead of putting that shape in, you put instructions in the code to make that shape. So the Gates Foundation, along with a great number of partners, are looking at these different efforts. We've never created a new vaccine in less than five years. So this is urgent and it's gonna require incredible collaboration it's gonna have to go to seven billion people. So I am optimistic that one of the vaccine efforts will give us vaccines in the next 18 months. And we'll make sure that it's produced in volume and that it's accessible to everyone in the world. That's how we're gonna end this pandemic. Oh yes, and you gotta love, like I said, the golf tees that they're painting and sticking inside of this (laughs) <laughs> this image that we see over and over of what the C-19 looks like. a go- you know, It's pretty much it looks like a golf ball with tees stuck in it. But you can hear how they're saying it usually takes five years for this to be completed. And you hear all these stories about miracle drugs and oh, all these things that are out there that, you know, that they're testing and everyone's desperate to get it. There's propaganda articles all over the place. Then you get this. You get <laughs> doctors are going on TV. So Gates is telling you that in order to fight this off, you have to get a piece of the disease or whatever, right? 
And then you put a piece of it inside of you, inside of the shot. And that'll help your body fight it off. Huh? I guess that's how magic science works. And then you get them, of course, talking about the RNA DNA, which is really what this is all about. And it's going to come down to being able to manipulate your DNA strands. But then the mainstream media comes out with this stuff saying that why everybody needs to get a flu shot. A search for a cure is the big one, of course. Yeah, so in the meantime, we're doing what we can to answer your questions. We want to join Channel 2 Haley Hernandez this morning. Um, Haley, you've been here with one, you've been hearing one particular question lately a lot. Yeah, guys, a lot of times people are asking me if they've gotten their flu shot or pneumonia shot, is it going to help them protect, protect them against coronavirus? Here's what doctors have to say. Here's where it gets confusing. The pneumonia and flu shot can protect you against illnesses, but according to the World Health Organization, they won't provide protection against the new coronavirus. The virus is so new and different that it needs its own vaccine. But in order to protect yourself from coronavirus complications, doctors say get your shots. But people with coronavirus are prone to getting secondary infections. They may have a co-infection with the influenza. They may have a co-infection with the pneumonia, or they may develop a bacterial pneumonia weakened in their hospital stay. And so the vaccines will help prevent those complications of coronavirus, but it does not help with the coronavirus on a day-to-day -day level. So I still recommend getting these vaccines because they may still help you recover from the coronavirus because you're not going to be getting as severe flu infections on top of the coronavirus. Can you imagine getting your flu virus and the coronavirus and later a bacterial pneumonia? That sounds miserable. So the bottom line is the flu shot and Tdap could protect you from getting seriously ill. What? Doesn't that contradict everything they're saying about how these things work and why? Because the flu, of course, has nothing to do with, you know, nothing to do with C-19, even though very interesting if you look at the statistics between the flu, which I don't believe anyway. I do not believe that this many people die of the flu. I've talked about this for years as they've tried to make the flu shot mandatory. I've said, does anyone know anyone who's dropping dead of the flu? Now, of course, somebody who's elderly might get it and it might be pneumonia and they might pass. I'm not saying that zero people have ever died, but let's be real. Right now, they're reporting from October 1st to April through April that there's been somewhere between 24,000 and 62,000, pretty big a discrepancy in numbers there of deaths via the flu and that 39 million to 56 million people have the flu illness. Now, this is way more than we've heard about the C-19 numbers here in America. Way, you know, the deaths are right on par with what they're claiming is, you know, going on. Actually, there's more. So kind of funny, right? But they're telling you that even though it can't be cured, via the flu shot, you still need it. And that shows you how desperately they want to stick these needles inside of us, period. For people out there that don't get it, why would they come out and tell you to do this? Yeah, sure, just go get this flu shot thing. By the way, we've openly admitted that the flu shot doesn't actually prevent you from getting the flu. It doesn't really work. They say it over and over. Oh, doctors say it doesn't work, but you should still get it anyway. Why? If it doesn't work, why would you put these chemicals in your body? You get Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Nicole Sapphire, or Sapphire, whatever it is, saying this past uh, week that getting a flu shot can help fight the pandemic in the future? Huh? Even if the shot does not work against this particular disease. In just the last two and a half months, we've had over 100,000 people hospitalized with the C-19 that is why we need to have makeshift beds in Central Park and on shifts because we had a lot of people already in hospital from the flu, according to this doctor, wink, wink. She said that a large majority of those who have had passed from the virus have had pre-existing health conditions or illnesses that had rendered them vulnerable. Okay. Uh, she says there are some things we need to do to make us more prepared for it so that we aren't shut down the way that we are right now. She said reacting to predictions that the C-19 will reoccur later this year. And you've seen the predictive programming everywhere. Every day there is news stories about how it's coming back in the fall or it's coming back in the winter. From Fauci all the way down the list, every talking head in the propaganda box is saying that. And then you even have Gates talking about phase two, where he was saying in five years... 
because he's not even going to count this is going away anytime soon in the summer. Like they're pretending, oh, it's going to go away for a little. Let's give some people their rights back in some states, and in others, we'll still keep them locked down wearing masks, and we'll continue to test this out and see, you know, who, who we can make jump through hoops and who we can't. So one of the biggest things we can do is actually getting the flu shot. Less than 40% of adults actually get the shot. But if you do get the shot, the flu shot, not only are you protecting yourself and those around you from the flu, but now you're keeping hospital beds open for those that may need it because of the C. Oh, okay. That is why they keep saying that you should get the flu shot. And if you're elderly or have chronic lung disease, you should also get the pneumonia vaccine. Oh, perfect. Get them all. Put them all inside you because... It'll keep people out of the hospitals, even though they openly admit, watch my videos on it, that the, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get the flu if you get the shot, right? And you saw the other video that I played. They're saying, well, it could affect different areas of, you know, something else happening after you have the C-19. It could help you prevent it, you know, from something else happening in regards to it or it's spreading. It. Huh? They just want to get this in you. They want to get people vaccinated over and over and over again. They want to depopulate. And they'll do it by any means necessary. They've already proven that. They've already told you that. And how have they told you that? Because it's all they talk about. And anybody who's against it, they yell and say that we're conspiracy nuts and we're dangerous. Meanwhile, we're allowed to have these psychopaths who get abortions running around telling us, oh, it's not really alive, even though it's alive inside of me. And it's my body, my choice. And everybody goes, yes, it's their body, their choice. But when it comes to the vaccine, it's not our body, our choice. Hypocrisy much, uh, you think? So you're going to continue to hear this stuff about rumors of when the cure is going to be there, you know, be ready for everyone. They're going to make, like I said a million times, make everybody beg for this to want it more than anything. Of course, because that's how all this works. It's all psychological. Right? But they're going to trick other people. People are going to line up to get their flu shot if they continue to go out there and tell people to get their flu shot because it'll help the frontline workers. Right? How many commercials do we hear? Oh, the people on the front lines, thank them. They're the real heroes over and over. Repetition. Every brand out there, every talking head celebrity, right? Being a publicist. Oh, thank everybody. Nothing's going on to thank them for. For crying out loud. Boy. I want to thank everyone for listening to today's show. <laughs> the propaganda is thick out there. Obviously, people who listen to this channel are too smart to fall for it, but hopefully others won't. I thank you guys again. God bless you and your families.